Hello folks, I'm sure you've heard the news. Salesforce has been in the center of many recent data breach incidents. Salesforce customers have been impacted, and this is very concerning. Big Salesforce customers have been attacked, and the data in their Salesforce orgs uh, have been stolen. Now, how did this happen? Apparently, a single hacker group is behind all these attacks, and they call these attacks vishing attacks, which is a kind of phishing attack that you know already from the information security world, organized over voice. So in these incidents, what happens is the hacker contacts the IT support organization, and they will convince them that an internal resource is trying to access the org, and uh, there's an urgent matter that requires their support. And they use a different version of the data loader tool. Data loader tool is a tool that helps you import and export data uh, from your Salesforce org. And this is actually an open source tool that anybody can download and then authenticate through OAuth with your Salesforce org. But it is possible for anybody to access the source code for this tool because it's an open source tool. So you can actually look at the source code, you can modify it, you can uh, create a different flavor of it and uh, use that, right? So in these incidents, uh, the data loader tool was modified and used, and it would trick the IT support person into authenticating this data loader tool, which is actually a different tool, into the org. And once the hackers get access to the org, they can download all the information from the org, right? So this is a very concerning situation. Now, when you read the news, it's not easy to tell who's at fault and you know what kind of incident this is. Um, I wouldn't say Salesforce doesn't have any responsibility toward this, but this is an incident where actually an internal resource provides unknowingly access to hackers and the hackers uh, download the information uh, without their um, approval, right? You know, without their knowledge. Now, on the other hand, obviously, uh, if you think about it and kind of analyze the situation, you also think to yourself, you know, what does Salesforce do to prevent these kinds of situations, right? You know, when you use your mobile phone, let's say you're using your iOS phone, Apple phone, and you give access to Facebook for all of your photos, once in a while, iOS will come back and ask you, um, Facebook has access to all of your photos. Would you like to continue giving this access or would you like to reconsider? You know, there are some risks. So in... Salesforce's situation, uh, we know that many solutions, whether they are installed in your Salesforce org or not installed in your Salesforce org, use the connected app functionality to authenticate uh, and access the data in your org. And these can be valid and open for a very long period of time. And I don't really remember a, a method or a way for Salesforce to kind of warn the admins um, whether they approve this access, whether they should be reconsidering uh, or, or whether they should go through all of these to make sure that you know there is no risk related to giving that access. And Salesforce even has a Salesforce optimizer tool, a, a couple of different methods. They can actually warn admins of certain risks and I don't remember seeing this as an item in those either, right? So while I don't think this is Salesforce's fault, I think Salesforce needs to implement measures uh, to make sure that these risks are managed, mitigated, and there are kind of warning mechanisms when uh, an access is provided like this. Maybe when an access is provided like this, kind of warn uh, the admin through email or something like that. I don't really remember seeing something like that either. So 
Um, I think these are very important points. And we are seeing the signs of those. Um, Salesforce just recently made an announcement and said they are going to limit the connect, connected app access going forward. So they are going to be, um, uh, for example, decommissioning a certain authentication method using a data loader. It is still going to be supported, but it's going to be limited to certain authentication methods. The device method will be decommissioned. And they also announced that the default connected app access is going to be restricted and you would have to have a dedicated permission to be able to give the connection access for these kinds of tools going forward. So they are actually tightening access for these kinds of attacks, which is a very welcome announcement, by the way. So this is what I understand uh, of the situation. I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. Just you know, know that I'm not really an expert in information security uh, area. Uh, and uh, please also note that with the developments in AI, uh, the attacks, uh, the variety of the attacks, the number of attacks have increased tremendously recently. Trying to access your data uh, without your knowledge or without your approval uh, got much easier, it's much faster and cheaper to try and organize attacks against your org. So be careful out there and take extreme caution protecting your systems and data. Have a great day.